Studio Hoop Day here with the Ole Miss Spirit. We're joined by former Ole Miss quarterback David Morris. He's the founder of QB Country, one of the leading quarterback developing and training uh, companies in the country. Coach Morris, thank you for your time this morning. Uh, good to be on, Sudo. Absolutely. Um, you've obviously trained some really big names. Your former college roommate, Eli Manning, uh, his successor in New York uh, with the Giants, Daniel Jones. You've trained Garner Minshew. But the name I think most Ole Miss fans want to hear you talk about is John Rice Plumley. Uh, you've obviously had a relationship with him since high school. Were you surprised at the way John Rice broke out onto the scene last year? You know, I um, I knew he was talented enough to play as a true freshman, and uh, I, I knew that you know he would be in the mix uh, on the in the backup role right initially, and then you know there was. Um, you know, an injury and, and he gets his opportunity. And I, I knew he's the type of player that he's going to play well in, in, in big moments. He's a gamer. Uh, he's, a, he's a player. Uh, and he's a quarterback. So, you know, I, I would I would say that I, I didn't necessarily project that, but it didn't surprise me. What have you focused on this offseason? I mean, I guess the players have reported now, but um, maybe some things he came to you with after playing in the SEC season or maybe some stuff you saw in his game. Yeah, I mean, I think in general you're you're trying to grow in every aspect of, of playing the position, and you know I think that uh, you know for for John Rice, you know, being a true freshman and playing uh, you know in big big SEC games, um, you know, I think the the main thing is uh, he got incredible reps and experience, and so th this off season, you know, we kind of went back to the basics um, and and really focused on. Uh, mechanics, uh, you know, passing mechanics, um, you know, feet, you know, time feet concepts, uh, and then just trying to sequence up, you know, feet, hips, shoulders, uh, you know, to make the motion be most complementary from, you know, fingertip to, to toe. And uh, he's really, he's really grown. Um, and and yeah, he didn't get enough credit last year for, for the type of passer that he is. But um, if people think he's not a passer, they're going to be surprised. And um, uh, he, he, he can throw any throw over and over again. The main thing, believe it or not, that we worked on this offseason was just touch. Uh, the ability to, to layer it in, you know, hard, soft, uh, you know, a little trajectory, um, you know, um, firm, uh, flat, uh, you know, uh, arcing ball. I mean, all of them and really trying to master each throw. Uh, you know, certain throws can be thrown uh, through lanes or overhand, um, you know, at different paces and different timing uh, on each rep. And so, you know, there's just so much that goes into being a, um, you know, an, an elite passer and it really never stops. And so, uh, but, but he, 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 he is, he's a capable thrower and he didn't get much credit for that last year. He's somewhat limited uh, right. offensively last year, in my opinion, but, but you're, you're going to see a guy that, uh, you know, they're not. If people aren't expecting him to be able to sling the ball around, they're, they're going to be, they're going to be surprised. That was one of my main questions. Obviously, uh, the system Ole Miss ran last year with Rich Rod. It's, it's obviously run centric, and, and he showed out in that. But what do you think having Lane Kiffin and, and Jeff Levy does for him? Well, both those guys know how to call, uh, you know, call a game. Both those guys know how to coach a quarterback. Both those guys know how to. Um, you know, score points and, and, and get first downs. They also make playing quarterback easier uh, than other people. And, and that's a big deal. I mean, there's enough going on on the plate of a quarterback every play. And so the ability to, to make uh, the play make sense, the progression makes sense, tying your feet to progressions. Um, there's a rhyme or reason there. And, and those two guys, um, have had just tons of success, and so I, I think I think John Rice is super excited about that. I also think that um, you know the, the ability for him to to really dive in and learn this new offense is, is obviously integral in this challenging time of you know kind of COVID nineteen and, and and the the lack of uh, meeting time and spring practice and all that. So so, uh, but he's worked hard and he's worked hard there, and um, uh, I think he's super excited. Absolutely. I, I can't let you go without asking about your former uh, roommate, Eli. He, he obviously left the NFL, retired, but he's on Twitter now. Did you ever see the state coming? <laughs> you know, I, I really didn't. Uh, in fact, when I saw that first tweet, you know, I said, I texted Eli, I said, E, is this you? <laughs> like, are you really on Twitter? 
And he said, maybe, you know, and I was like, my goodness, you know, so, um, you know, of course, in Eli fashion, he comes out, you know, firing and, uh, you know, just incredible, some incredible comments and, and tweets and, uh, you know, as always bringing the humor and, and the uh, personality and always giving people a hard time. So, I mean, I think, you know, I'm excited to kind of, uh, you know, uh, see all the grief that he's going to get <laughs> all, all his buddies, you know, that are on social media. Absolutely. Uh, he's known as a prankster. If you have being his college roommate and, and being his roommate on the road, do you have one story you can maybe leave us with that, uh, that embodies the prankster Eli Manning is? Oh man, I got, I got 100. Um, <laughs> you know, I, not, none that are probably, uh, uh, you know, uh, none, none that necessarily stand, stand out more than the others. He's, he's, he's an incredible person. Uh, Eli's one of my best friends. Uh, I have so much respect for him and, and man he is uh, the way he does things the father he is the husband he is uh, the player he, he was and uh, and just the ability to um, to be humble through it all is, uh, he taught me a lot and I uh, you know I'm just super happy that him and Abby and, and, and the family get to enjoy uh, a little bit more uh, family time and you know and also um you know, get, get to be around each other a little more. And uh, I'm excited about this next phase in, in his life. So, you know, so, social media will probably be a super small part, but uh, it'll be fun for people on the outside. That's awesome. All right, Coach, thank you so much for your time. I wanted to get you in and out. So, uh, once again, really, really appreciate it. Hey, Sudo, anytime, buddy. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. You. Have a good one. Thank you.